Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn that how we can connect our cPanel and access our files and folders with the help of SSH and Putty software. So in order to do that, you need to have a cPanel and you need to have a Putty software. I already installed this Putty uh, software in my system. So you can download and install Putty by just going to Google and search for download Putty or you can go to the putty.org website and you will find two softwares here the one is bitwise and the second one is putty so we are going to use putty in this video so just go to the download and you can download any of the packages installer file according to your operating system okay so after that you need to go to your your cpanel and you need to search for ssh access under security you can also search for SSH access in the cPanel. It might be possible that yet your UI is different. Your cPanel is UI is different, but the options are same. And if you couldn't find this SSH access option, then you need to contact to your hosting provider. So just go to the SSH access. And from here, you can manage your SSH access. Click manage SSH keys. And as you can see, uh, all the keys that you have created will be listed here. Just click generate a new key. And from here, you can generate a new key. Just give it a name. Let's say test key. And then let's generate a password. And also make sure that you save this password into your system or somewhere. So you can use this in the future. So let's use this password. And let's click generate key key generation complete now go back now as you can see we have two keys here that we have created a uh, test key the one is public key and the second one is private key and if you see the authorization status is not authorized so we need to make it authorized so just click manage and click authorize now we can use this key uh, easily because it is now authorized Okay, now uh, you need to go to the private keys and click view download and from here you can download the key but we need to convert this key to the PBK format. So now let's give the password and click convert. As you can see it is now converted to the uh, PBK format. So you can download this key now. Now let's download this and as you can see this key has been downloaded successfully. Now, when you install the Putty software, you will have two kind of softwares. The one is Putty configuration software and the second one is Putty gen software. And first, we need to use this Putty key generator software. From the top option, just select conversions and click import key and select the key that you have downloaded and it will ask the password. Okay, now it is converted and you can also give this a password, but now I'm not giving this a password. Just click save private key and let's save this as test dash key. Okay, so now we can use this key into our putty configuration software. So now you, you need to open the putty configuration software and you can see in at, at the left side bar, at the left side corner, we have multiple options. The first is session and other options so in the session we need to give the host name or ip address in the port we need to give port then we can easily connect this putty software and in the ssh we need to give the uh, file that, that, that we have downloaded from the ssh keys okay so let's go to the cpanel and you can see general information of your cpanel here or you can go to the server information and you will find all your server information here so we need to copy the current username of this account cpanel account and in the putty configuration go to the session and paste it in here and then after the username type at the rate and after at the rate we need to paste the dedicated ip address of our hosting account so just copy the ip address of your account and then port is 22 
and then you need to go to the connection from the left corner and then select SSH and then auth and then credentials and the private key and the private key that you have downloaded you need to browse and select the private key that you have converted with the help of putigen software now again go to the session you can also save this session so in future you can e easily use this session uh, so you do not have to write all the details again and again when you save this session now click ok now this will connect our this terminal to, to the our hosting as you can see now we are connected to our uh, account our cPanel account if if I run ls command as you can see we are getting all the uh, files and folders and if I go to the public HTML and then again run ls you can see we got all the files and folders if I go to the file manager and then go to the public HTML you can see we have folder pause we have file.env this is a Laravel application and as you can see we have a folder pause and then we have our env file here so we we, we can access all the files and folders with the help of this terminal terminal and we can also run all the commands like php artisan composer install here so this is how we can connect our putty software to the hosting cpanel account close this terminal and if i open the putty software again and select the save session and click open as you can see now i can access the terminal again easily so this is the helpful feature of saving session so i hope that this video help you to connect and to learn that how we can you access your files and folder with the help of SSH and you can easily connect your terminal with the help of putty software and SSH keys thanks for watching